I'm about to do something that I've never done before in my life. I'm going to smell the fragrance of an American chestnut blossom. Oh, it's beautiful. I've never done this before. This is the first time that one of my young chestnut trees is in blossom. Oh, it smells so beautiful. <laughs> I've worked so hard to come to this day and I didn't think that it was going to be happening so soon. This is actually ahead of schedule. I would have thought that it would have to be at least twice this size, maybe three times this size before it would have blossoms. In fact, there's one just across the way here that's bigger than this and it doesn't have blossoms yet. I've seen countless blossoms and so have you if you've watched my American Chestnut series from the Miracle Sisters, which is obviously in blossom right now and look at the incredible blossoms on that, except it is so far overhead, it's impossible. I'd have to, no, there's just no way I could do it. I don't wanna have some heavy machinery back there for some platform to carry me up and damage the forest. So anyways, wow, I finally got to smell chestnut blossoms. And you know, speaking of the Miracle Sisters chestnut, it's too far away for these two trees to cross pollinate. And there's no other chestnut yet in blossom. Now, as I just said, hopefully the one across the way right there will join this one next year. And then they will be able to cross pollinate and I'll have some nuts right here beside the house. And in a few more years, plenty more. There are so many young chestnuts here. But I just wanted to share this incredible moment with you, this wonderful, wonderful treat to be able to smell these blossoms, even if there won't be nuts this year. This is still so phenomenal, so beautiful. I forewent, if that's a word, my mosquito protection so I could smell it. So I gotta get out of here because the mosquitoes are swarming.